Hi, I'm Chien and this is the Ambroco at Cloud Training Course. And today in this video, I will guide you how to work locally with the Ambroco Cloud on the Windows PC. Okay, so now let's get started. And this is the Cloud, my Cloud account here. And in the in my workspace, I have a locally or live. And I click on locally, and here I have three options. Start working with the website locally by using the Visual Studio, Run and Cuff, and the last one is Connect with Git. Okay, here and now I go ahead to click on Connect with Git. Yeah. So here it will show the guideline how to clone the code from the cloud to the Windows PC. Okay, here I go ahead to, and you can use the Shorty or Git can to clone the uh, short code from the cloud to the Windows PC. Yeah. You just go ahead to copy this one URL, okay. And now open. And here in this video, I'm um, go ahead to use the Sochi because I family familiar with this. Okay, open Sochi and copy it, uh, clone it. And you create a new tab and click on clone button here and paste the URL into the cloning. Here, it is checking to make sure this is the repository of the Git. Yeah, so you can see here this is a git repository and you can change the destination fo folder to store the short code. I browse this and and I have an Ambraco S on my PC folder. Great E Ambraco S Cloud. Okay. And I select this one. Yeah. Click on clone button here to clone the code from the internet. Yeah, and here I can click on cell phone option here to see the in red. Yeah, here scroll down. Yeah, you can see here the cloning is completed successfully. Okay, so here if this one is the first time you cloning the code from from the cloud to the Windows PC, you have to enter the credential first in order to get the code from the from the cloud to the Windows PC. And in this video, I haven't entered the username and password for this account because I have already cloned it. Or I have already cloned it previously from the cloud to my PC, and the username and password is already saved to my local PC here. Okay. Cool. So now click on close button here. Okay. It's checking. And I click on the matter. Yeah. So here you can see we have uh, the, the the file had been downloaded to this PC, and you can see we have a lot of the the, the history commitment committed code here. Okay. So when you do any action in the in the cloud, it will save it into into the the, the history of the Git. Okay. So for example, here I will open the website, and I. Go to the form. Yeah, and here you can see I have three form: command form, contact form, and co contact form two. Okay, so here if I go ahead to delete, delete the command form here. I delete it and okay it. Cool. So here I back to the Sochi, and I will try to pull the code. Yeah, you can see here we have a new updated, and with the app decoration is removing from command form. Yeah, okay. So that means everything you we do in the cloud, it will save it into the history of the Git. Okay, good. So here I will close this one, and I will open the short code. Oh, sorry, I have a. Ambraco folder. Yeah. So this is the code we get is from the cloud to my Windows PC. Okay. So now here I will set up a website and run it on my local PC over the Internet Information Services. Okay. And I will open the window run and tie in INET Manager to open the Internet Information Services. Okay. And now I go ahead to create a new site. I will 
e uh, ampraco cloud dot local okay i copy this one and paste it to the hot name okay and here for physical part i will select the folder i have just clone the code from the cloud to my pc and i'm going to add cloud select this one okay button here so here click on okay button to finish creation of the website okay and now i have to open the hot file in c window system 32 here drive drive and etc and hot i open this one in notepad plus plus on my pc here and i will name it pet the umbraco cloud dot local here and i will copy the ip okay save it up yes save it again okay so now here i close this one and back to the internet information services okay cool so here i will try to refresh this okay and here on the right hand i have a borough website click on borough ampraco.local on ht post http here it will open the site in browser here and this is the first time running uh, the site on my local so it will take the time to loading here so here it is in initializing your website here so here we go to the restore from Abraco cloud we have a uh, two options restore it from cloud or skip restore and open Abraco here so if we skip here it will open a blank Abraco website and here I go ahead to click on the restore button because I want to get the data from the cloud and clone it on my Windows PC yeah so both the cloud and locally will, will, will look like the same thing yeah it is already done and ready to drop and run yeah so everything has been restored and it is ready for you okay click on open umbraco button here it will direct you to the umbraco login page and and here you have to provide your username in email, by email and password in the cloud and here i'm using my account and enter the password click on login button here so here you can see we have a a, 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 version, a, a version of the umbraco cloud is running on my local pc yeah okay here i have a home there are some product people about it below contact and contact to okay it looks like the same thing here open the cloud product okay it looks like the same thing okay cool and now here i open the short code in the Marco s okay and here I will I, I go ahead to use the Visual Studio code to edit the the the, the Umbraco cloud code on my PC. File open the open folder. I select Umbraco add Umbraco add cloud folder. Select this one. Okay. So here in the Edge browser window, I have a, a Umbraco cloud add is open up here. Okay. So now I open the view. And I open the home dot cf html file. Okay. And here for this one, I just go ahead to add new the html into this file, and see what happen. Okay. I will add it into the here session class session session. I will enter add one. Hello one. Chat is talking. Save it up. Okay. And now I will open the website. 
on my local PC, I copy Amproco cloud.local and open it up. Paste and go. And I scroll down. Here, you can see here I have a the message hello one Jenny talking. It had been added into the into this session, and it is displaying here. Okay, cool. And now I open the the Sochi, and I will try to check the file status. Okay, you can see here we have a the some unstated file. I I see here in home page. You can see here the chain is by adding a new new tag here. Okay, I will state this file. Okay, state this file, and I will enter my command here. Okay, I will adding a tag e, adding, added new hello message to home for testing. A commit file from local to cloud and by Roman. Okay. After that, I click on commit button here. Here and wait until it's committed to the cloud. Okay. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, so you can see here my commit had been. Added to the to the cloud and the decoration here. Okay, I open the cloud website. Copy this one. And if we have no issue, the new message hello hello one will be displaying on the cloud as well. Here, scroll down. Here, you can see here we have a hello one Jenny talking message on also displaying on the cloud. It looks like the same thing when we are open it in the local PC. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It seems working fine for now. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to clone the code from the Git, uh, from the uh, from the Amco Cloud to the Windows PC by using the Sochi. And after that, you know how to install it at a, 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 a local website running over the Internet Information Services. And you also know how to edit the file by using Visual Studio Code and commit it to the uh, to the cloud environment. Okay, thank you for watching and see you later. Bye bye.